This is where you keep the uh, the supplies. This is what has come in so far. That's uh, and I mean, there's a lot that has come in. So there's a uh, there's things that aren't going to go up there that that are going to be uh, directed towards other communities and other other um, families and people that are requiring assistance. Yeah, there's art supplies and there's uh, um, craft supplies as well. There's snowshoes? Uh, there's going to be a couple pairs of snowshoes going. Yeah. yeah. And there's the art supplies there? Uh, there's art supplies all the way through here. Well, and yeah. so what's the situation right now in Atawapiskat with the, uh, um, with the people? Why is it that they're not able to come and get aid for themselves? They're in a situation where uh, they're in an isolated area, um, yeah. bypassed by... Uh, commodities that bypass by the it's a fly-in community only so it's very expensive the 50 percent of the population are children mm. that I've been told and um, <clears throat> yeah I was talking to the chief uh, two or three times and and she mentioned that uh, there's 1800 people on the reserve living on the reserve and there's a thousand people living off reserve but are part of the same community mm. and half of them are children so mm. that leaves uh, with the elders and the children, that leaves the the people in the middle taking care of both, yeah, both younger and older. So they're overworked. Yeah, they're tired, and she said that they were lacking volunteers because the volunteers are all exhausted. Electricity to this house, then. Just an extension from from the house to the shack. Just to confirm, so there's the two grandparents, a little granddaughter, and no running water, no toilet. You have to use a bucket for the ditches. That's that's the situation here. Yes. And she's eight years old. Eighty years old, and her husband's eighty-five. 80 and 85. So it's people living in these shacks? Yeah. But no running water here? So no. then the uh, toilet pails are all have to be dumped out? Yes. Out in the road? Yes. So that's about 15 people right here in this corner that have no place for their sewage or water. Ça fait très longtemps. Moi, quand j'étais toute petite, ma mère, elle disait tout le temps qu'on avait des racines euh, Micmac. Puis, euh, en ayant plus de contact avec Joe, euh, j'ai commencé à faire euh, des sweat lodges avec elle, puis de rencontrer des, des gens qui venaient euh, de d'autres régions qui étaient des Autochtones. Donc, euh, pour moi, c'était important de reconnaître mes origines, puis de justement pouvoir en apprendre un peu plus sur qui on est dans le fond. Euh, Vraiment. Euh, C'est des gens qui étaient vraiment euh, pas fortunés puis qui avaient vraiment même pas la base, là, euh, pas de couverture, de pas être capable d'avoir de, des vêtements assez chauds quand on sait que c'est quand même très froid dans ce coin-là, mm -hmm. qui ont des conditions de vie euh, quand même exécrables. Je trouve ça important. Là. Nous autres, ici, on a tout, puis des fois, on a beaucoup plus que ce qu'on a de besoin. Fait que je trouvais ça euh, important de pouvoir les encourager puis les aider. Là. Like I say, there's a lot of things that came in. It was way beyond my expectation. I thought, you know, a little, uh, a little vehicle of, you know, blankets and warm clothing and things like that would be, would come in. But it became a, a huge web of generosity and abundance. So um, there's going to be places that it's going. There's things going to be going to other communities and. Yeah, and other families that are in need and things like that as well, so. Oh, something else, something left in here. Um, this is pretty full, I think I want to This one's it pretty full too, this woman's clothing bag here. Yeah. What's here? Well, what's this one? Boys' clothes, okay. I need the towels, face towels. Right here. Towels, face towels, scarves. Yep. Okay. This is women's or uh, did we say women's or men's? Hard to say. Yeah. I'll put it in the men's. 
whatever. They, they'll shuffle it around if it's not in the right. Yeah. I'm sure that if it's a minor, yeah. minor detail. Uh, Men's coats. Where's your clock, Joe? It's on the stove. Oh, teen boys. Doctor, what kind of health? <laughs> uh, the uh, the uh, sort of things you get into trouble with uh, with that are uh, infectious diseases. Uh, they get depression. Come here. Uh, sense of self self-esteem for a child to be it's terrible. I mean, you know, it's nine people. So they get lots of health problems. Here right now. 90 people? Yeah, it's a temporary shelter. We call it the beer shelter. Yeah, it looks like an institution for criminals, not housing for families. What's your name? Flav. Yeah. So uh, this is what we're doing. We're delivering this here, and they're going to distribute it where it's needed, and then we'll do the delivery for Ottawa, Scott, Adelaide. Yeah. Drapes and curtains. Oh, yeah. Because Ottawa, Scott has uh, informed me that they have received many, many gifts of uh, donations of clothing and. Uh, various articles that uh, they have a warehouse full of uh, donations that were given to them so much that they haven't even had time to distribute or go through them. Naomi, North American Indian Warrior Association. And what is your mission? What is the mission of Well, your... native people. Any, any, any way we could. With clothing, food, uh, if it shakes on the reserve, <laughs> we'll we'll be there also. Yes. What's your part in the organization? Uh, I'm the boss. <laughs> I'm the boss. Uh, I call the shots. Uh, when people need help, we go over there. We did the walk for the battle woman two times this year. We went to help La Pac, the native center. Uh, like I say, if it shakes on the reserve, we're going to be there with arms. We're there to help native any kind. Anyway, personally, for me, the word reserve mean a cage hmm. and uh, the government's always taking out things from us taking money from us taking our rights so if we can help we're gonna do it because uh, government call, cut all the time money for native people they say we don't pay we don't pay taxes we pay taxes but they, they, they cut uh, uh, 250 000 per année sur les réserves autochtones moi je considère que c'est payé nos taxes See? Yeah. Every time we're trying to do good things, like uh, we had bingo. They came with Loto Quebec, they cut the bingo from us. Uh, after this, we did ultimate fighting on reserve. They came to cut this, so we lose money again. And now they're trying to pay to put taxes on the cigarette on the reserve to take us money again. And I will die. I will give my life. But it's about time that they see we're people. And we on merit the main the way. We have the same right as any other races. Même si on est en 2012, on, on réalise avec tout ce qu'il y a à travers le monde, la, les problèmes qu'il y a partout, que la, les gens ont quand même encore des valeurs intéressantes, puis que c'est important de continuer à s'entraider, puis à retrouver euh, ce qu'on a en dedans de soi, qu'on a appris, euh, de le mettre en, en, en œuvre. Merci. Ça fait plaisir some things to hear to a group that are uh, um, distributing the, uh, the uh, donations to various groups uh, around the province to um, Native families and children and, and uh, women that are in need. Um, so some of the stuff is going to here to be distributed where it's needed. 
and some of the stuff is for Anawapiskat, so we're just uh, doing a separation of, of uh, what was packed in the truck in the beginning.